Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Today we will be discussing a great feature within Amazon S3 which helps us understand the access patterns by bucket. But before we get into it, I quickly want to share the other features within our S3 Insights portfolio which include S3 Inventory which gives you a manifest of every object in a bucket with metadata about those objects. Then we have S3 Storage Lens which gives you organization wide visibility and a wide array of different metrics to investigate. Then we have S3 Amazon CloudWatch metrics which enable you to access centralized monitoring of S3 in CloudWatch dashboards for your DevOps teams. And then in the end we have S3 Server Access Logs which gives you detailed request logging of every gets or puts on your storage. Now let's get into S3 Storage Class Analysis. So for predictable workloads, S3 Storage Class Analysis lets you monitor access patterns across objects to help you decide when to transition to the right storage class to optimize storage costs. With storage class analysis running for 30 to 45 days, you will be able to determine the access patterns for your data set. And once you have identified less frequently accessed data, you can set up lifecycle policies to transition such data into a colder storage class such as S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval or S3 Glacier Deep Archive. You can also expire objects and their older versions based on their age. Here also it's very important to realize that storage class analysis was designed for moving objects to standard infrequently access and will only provide recommendations for that storage class. But if the need is to audit environments and understand access patterns thoroughly, you can analyze the reports and make appropriate recommendations. Next up, let's look at storage class analysis in our AWS console. So here we are in my AWS management console. To turn on storage class analysis on a certain bucket, we need to go to Amazon S3. Then select that particular bucket. Then we go on select metrics. Then we go down and select create configuration in storage class analysis. The first thing it tells us to do is to put in a configuration name. In this case, let's put it as CA1. Now you can limit the scope by either entering a certain prefix or a certain tag. So for instance, if you only want the storage class analysis to run on a certain prefix, you can enter the prefix here. Or you can only want to run it on certain objects with those tags, you can enter the tags here. In this case, let's apply it to all objects in the bucket. And then the last option is to enable or disable CSV. If you want to enable CSV, you can do that by selecting this option. And then you can have a destination bucket as a bucket in this account or a different account. In this case, let's select another bucket. And then we go on select create configuration. So that is how you turn on storage class analysis on a certain bucket. So once you've turned on storage class analysis, and once the metrics have been aggregated, you can view that by going into the metrics section for that particular bucket. Then clicking on that SCA configuration. And here, this is your dashboard where you can look at your insights into your data. So in this case, the first graph shows us observe usage pattern. And then it gives you a class usage summary by the storage class, the total size in each of the storage classes and the data retrieved for each of the storage classes. And then you can filter it down if you only want to look at a certain storage class. Let's assume you only want to look at data in S3 standard, then you can do that by using the filters here. And then there's additional graphs on how much storage did you retrieve on each of the storage classes? How much percentage did you re retrieve for each of the storage classes? And then in the end, you have how much of storage was accessed on average on each of the storage classes. So there's a graph for each of the storage classes. Here you can see it starts with S3 standard. It goes to dungeon tiering and then it goes all the way to S3 Glacier Deep Archive. So this is how you can use SCA reports to look and get insights on your data. So after we enable CSV reports and after doing a little bit of formatting, this is how a storage class analysis report looks like. In the extreme left, we have date and here you can sort it out by dates depending on what date you want to look at. Next up is what we have storage class. So if you only want to look at a certain class, then you can do that by selecting what storage class you want to look at. In this case, we look at Amazon standard and Amazon standard IA. Then there's an object age filter, and then it gives you more details on the storage in MB for objects in this storage class, then the data retrieve for objects in the storage class on a certain age, the get request count, 
and the cumulative access ratio. So this is how you can look at your storage class analysis report and make the decisions about what lifecycle management policies you want to implement into your S3 buckets. If you want to learn more on storage class analysis, you can scan this QR code from your smartphone devices. Thank you for watching.